know what I'm doing. It's been so long. Hi guys. Check and see if I have garbage back there. You know what? Garbage happens. I'm surrounded by it, okay? We're here to talk about garbage, so I hope that I'm smothering in it right now. Um, I just... I, oh, my heart hurts. I miss you guys. I just, you know, I told you last time, I feel like I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to talk about here. I'm really getting a good handle on the rest of my life, though. My vlogs are pumping out pretty regularly. It's like Groundhog's Day over there, though, so, you know. Viewer beware. My kids are doing great. Relationship great. House great. Actually, I feel like the house is really... I almost bought another one the other day. That's where we're at right now. I'm on this, like, I have an itch, and uh, I really want to scratch it. So I was like, no, 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 Sarah, don't buy a house. Stupid. Not yet. And then I was like, all right, I'll just buy a new car. And then I'm like, you know, yeah, that's a good idea, girl. You've driven twice in the last two months, so it's a good idea. You can do a car. No. So now we're settling on perhaps a couple of cats. Um, there's a good chance cats are gonna happen. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I have a bunch of junk here, empties. I figured I'd at least sit down and talk about these things because, we're, I mean, I'm running out of stuff and now that I work differently and stuff, and I'm sure some of you do as well, um, you know, I'm gonna take even more caution and buying things and I'm gonna think about the stuff that I'm spending my money on ignore the house car cat thing I'm gonna think about the stuff that I'm spending my money on on like a daily basis because we just don't need garbage remember I told you guys a year ago almost now that I was trying to use up all of the crap that I have in my house because I just had so much of it and it was stacking and I just like to shop for the sake of shopping but now Target is like my least favorite place to be so life is different now Let's start with something that I do continue to spend my money on over and over and over again, and it is leave-in conditioners. Specifically, this is my absolute favorite one. It's It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. This stuff is a bomb. I put it in my hair every single day, um, but this little bottle, okay, is like 20 bucks, so it's expensive. Um, it smells amazing, but I put it in my hair every single day, and especially when I wash my hair, after I wash it and it's still wet and whatever, I smother it in this stuff, and then I leave my hair down to dry, typically just naturally, especially if I'm not in a rush or anything, which, where the hell am I going? Um, so it just dries really nicely and I really, really, really love it. I've been using it for years and years and years. My least favorite thing is the price tag. 20 bucks, bro? For three ounces? Four ounces? Ugh, no, I hate it. So I got this one free uh, when I purchased the other one at I think Ulta or whatever. So this is, the, it's a 10 Potion 10 Miracle Instant Repair Leave-In. Um, I saw absolutely no difference like between this and any other ones. It was all the same. So I thought I'd mention it, but I don't really care about it. So I had gone to Target and I tried to find something that I thought would be similar and I ended up picking up this Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Detangler or whatever. Um, it had that same milky white sort of whatever to it um, except this was only like four or five dollars maybe and I didn't mind it I didn't think it was like a bad smell or anything and it's supposed to let you air dry without any tangles or any frizz and that is a big benefit of the it's a 10 light I use light for my hair just because my hair is so fine and like just limp um <laughs> I don't I love the word limp this was fine and I finished it clearly but it didn't do the job. It didn't completely replace it. It didn't smell as good. It wasn't quite as anti-frizzed, if you will. But, like, for the price, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I got five ounces for, like, under five dollars. So, what I did do, though, is I listened to my best good pals, you guys, on the internet, and I bought this generic brand. So, it's the generic value products from Sally's. This one's not empty yet. And this is the lightweight leave-in treatment and it's supposed to be the exact dupe basically of the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light, okay? This is also four ounces. So this one is supposed to be exactly like, taking through my trash, this one, okay? These are supposed to be like the exact versions of each other, pretty much, right? Pretty much, not exact, exact. And the first few ingredients are identical as they are listed and I do really like it. I will say it does not smell the same and a big perk um, that it's a 10 for me is how incredible it smells. It makes my hair smell so fresh and so clean and so good. Uh, but this is a great 
sort of dupe for it basically. Now I did spend about 10 bucks on this, but I have gone into Sally's and seen their generic stuff on like a buy two get one free kind of sale. So if that were the case, and let's say I spent 10 bucks on the it's exact same amount of ounces, I could get technically three of these, right? Plus if you have like a little Sally Insider thing, you could get like a buck off or something, I don't know. But in, I'm pretty sure it's only like $5 for the year. I could get three of these for $20 versus getting one of the real one for $10. So, or I'm sorry, for $20. So I'm gonna keep buying this, but I'm also gonna keep buying my It's a 10 Leave-In Light. <laughs> this is just gonna cut it so that, you know, in between, I'm not spending as much money. Since we're on the subject of hair, I am once again showing you guys more empty bottles of my Pantene Pro-V. It doesn't matter what it is. These ones are the smooth, or whatever they're called, smooth and sleek. My my video looks so different today, and I don't know what it is, and I, I'm wondering if this is not my normal lens. It's literally been so long that I forgot how to use my camera. Sorry. I love these things. I know everyone's like, Pantene makes your hair fall out. You're gonna go bald, girl, but girl, I guess if I'm gonna go bald, I'm gonna look good on the way there. Um, they just do so, they do great things. <laughs> they do great things for my hair. And they're like $5. If there is a better version that isn't gonna cost me an arm and a leg and it's still going to condition my hair and make it feel good and make it dry nicely, let me know, do not keep it a secret, but do not tell me some obscure thing that I gotta go to the freaking Tibet to buy, okay? Because I hate when it's so challenging to get like my everyday regular stuff, I really do. I wanna be able to walk into Walgreens or Walmart or Target or whatever. Well, I'm not walking into anything anymore, but I wanna be able to easily get my hands on it. So, I also bought this version because you guys are all like, they have so face, you're gonna go bald. And I'm all like, hell no, girl. So I got the Pantene <laughs> Nutri Blends. Actually, that's not why I bought it. I bought these because look at how pretty the packaging is. You got me again. I'm gonna design packaging one day. I feel like I can really speak to myself. Um, so this is sulfate-free shampoo and sulfate-free conditioner. And they smelled good and everything. It had, did it smell like roses? I forget now. No, it didn't smell like anything. I'm tripping. I remember this smelling like anything. I, I don't know why I lied and said that it smelled good. It has 0% sulfates, parabens, dyes, and mineral oil. I didn't know mineral oil was bad. What the hell do I know about mineral oil? You know what I do know is bad? Mineral water. Ew. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm not gonna buy these again. There was nothing inherently just wrong with them, but my hair did not feel as silky and smooth and beautiful as it does with my normal Pantene. And maybe it's the sulfates. I don't know. <laughs> it probably is though, right? Like that's probably why they're so terrible because they make my hair feel amazing. All right, before we get off of my hair, uh, I also finished these two hairsprays. This one is by Tresemme and it is the Invisible Hold Texture, with the lightweight one. The only reason I'm even mentioning this, and this is the Umberto one, um, regular hold. I got this one on clearance from Target a thousand years ago, but this one I got semi-recently. Um, the only reason I'm even mentioning hairspray is because I don't know about you, but I like a lightweight hairspray that doesn't flake. And that's not always the easiest thing to find. So this one, I would say I'm not gonna ever repurchase this, um, but this one is a lightweight hairspray that never flaked and it smells not like death or anything. So um, I was a fan of it and I'd probably pick it up again if I were to be browsing a shelf for hairspray. As it stands, I have other hairsprays that I have to go through first. Now let's talk about shaving. I have two shaving creams. I have the Skin Skintimate Shaving Cream and I have the Venus Shower and Shave Cream. And I used to like live and die by this damn shaving cream. So much so that at one point I think I bought like eight of them. And this was the last one, okay? So she was just roaming, like, roaming around in my closet or whatever. So that's why I used her up. Um, but this one has since taken her place, the Venus Shave Cream. I mean, I'll go in there and dry shave if I need to. I will go in there and throw some conditioner on my leg. I don't really care, it's not that deep for me. Um, but I prefer to have some kind of cream and when I do, it's this one. So I would say Battle of the Shaving Creams. This one is nice and thick and rich, um, but I, I don't know, it's actually harder to find. I, I had trouble finding it around here. But maybe then I just stopped looking and then suddenly it was there because that's actually how life works. So, um, I don't know, they're, they're just shaving creams. They're both good, I like them both. You know what I don't like though is that EOS one. Hard pass. And while we're on the subject of skin,
skin. Your girl's got chicken skin. Uh, medically called keratosis pilaris. We have mentioned it many times here before. Many of you had discovered that you also have it. Okay, um, I actually went to a dermatologist when I was like 18 and he was like, yeah dog, that's chicken skin. And I was like, oh, get it off me. And he was like, here's this $75 lotion. Get it off yourself. And then I like never used it. Um, so that's the story of me and my chicken skin. So I've had it forever, as long as I can remember. It's not a big deal, but it is covering a lot of my body. And I don't know what the difference is right now, but um, maybe it's just because I'm not getting out. Maybe it's because I'm stressed or something and I'm not realizing it. Whatever it might be, my chicken skin, my KP is like out of control right now. It's going further down my arms, further down my chest, and it stops in my boobs, but like I'm just developing more bumps than I normally have. I have them on my face, my back, my thighs, my butt, my arms, all over my arms, <laughs> um, and then I have them like over my shoulders, and then it comes down here. I try to get rid of it, and I get rid of it, not get rid of it, but I try to kind of keep it at bay by exfoliating a lot. So <laughs> I have this sugar, it's by Fresh. It's the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. And this I got like as a little impulse buy at the uh, counter at Sephora or whatever. And it was like 15 bucks, dude, for... <laughs> This is terrible. And my impulses suck. 1.6 ounces. I want to say it was $15. It just looked so cute. Um, don't buy it. It's just the same as any other damn sugar scrub. Plus, it smelled like old ass strawberries, bro. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. It wasn't worth it. I absolutely love Fresh, the brand, okay? Um, I like stand them heavily, and I don't use that word because I think I'm too old for it, but to relate to the people, I stand them, all right? I freaking love Fresh. They're the bomb I'm looking at their stuff right now. I put it on every single day. Oh, son of a diddly. I left one of their things in the bathroom. That's fine. We'll do it in the next video, but um, anyway, it just wasn't worth it for me, money-wise. So I also have something by Origins. I love Origins as well. This is a grapefruit body wash. It was okay. I didn't actually buy this one. They sent it to me. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I didn't see that it did anything extra. If you're just looking for a plain ass, like, exfoliating scrub, though, what, you know, buy whatever you want. Actually, I'll tell you which ones to buy because they're cheaper. Um, but I did end up buying this KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA safe for sensitive skin, and this is my first aid beauty, <laughs> fab, and um, I bought this because one of you guys had recommended it, and it says KP on there, which is, it's calling me, right? Um, I used it, I bought it, it's not exactly the cheapest thing you're gonna come across. Links for everything will be down below if I, I'll try. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, I saw absolutely no improvement. In fact, while I was using this is when my KP got worse. However, I'm not going to be a psycho here and blame it on this. Um, but it didn't help at all. So <laughs> no more. But I did recently buy Skin Fixes KP stuff. Um, so I check up on that later because I've been using it all week and it was more expensive and it hopefully will work because it's like a duo system. It's a scrub and it's a lotion. We'll see how that works, but like I said, my stuff has been out of control. Next up are my favorite body scrubs that I'm just gonna keep going back to until someone comes out with something that actually works. These are the bomb. These are by Tree Hut. Get them at Walmart, get them at Walgreens, get them at Ulta. I doubt Sephora has them. It's like, Sephora's kind of bougie for this kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know though. So, <laughs> it's the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs. Um, neither one of these is my favorite one, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, I like the Moroccan Rose. That one smells Freaking incredible, it smells so good. It smells so good, but these are like $5, bro. Like, they're so good. And then there's always sales and stuff on those, so um, I highly recommend them. My favorite face wash, this is a Neutrogena, Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Face Wash. As soon as I run out of all of the face washes that I get sent in PR packages and stuff, which I love them, I do, but like Neutrogena, if you would like to hook me up with these, then I could allow my conscience to, you know, use it, okay? My conscience, conscious conscience. I could allow my conscience to actually use it because I don't wanna buy more face wash while I still have a whole bunch. So right now I'm using the soy one from Fresh and it smells like a, girl, I don't know what it smells like. Would you believe I haven't even had my first sip of coffee today? I think I just missed being in here. I bought so much stuff lately, you guys. It's actually a problem. It's not this kind of stuff. Let's just, since we're on a tangent, it's like 
underwear and, and books. Dear God, the books. In fact, dear God, the books. I bought the Bible study books. Um, listen to that. Yes, girl. It's heavy. It's deep. Um, but no, I, yeah, I've been reading like... Oh, dang, I turned my computer on. <laughs> um, let's keep it moving. Next up, my stepdad. He's such a great guy. He went to Sephora. I, I, see, he must have gone to Ulta. Anyway, for Christmas, he bought me um, a bunch of like uh, scrubs and this kind of stuff. And so it was just really nice because I actually used them all. And I'm like, what? And he was like, did you like those? And I was like, yeah. He said, I picked them up myself. And I was like, dog, you know me so well. So uh, these are Soap and Glory. And these are body washes. So this is the kind of stuff that like I would see and I would love to pick up, but my brain is always like, no, Sarah, just use what you have at home. Um, so I was glad he bought them for me. So I got the Clina Colada and then I got the Mist You Madly. I like them both. I thought they were a lovely little experience. They were fun. Um, that being said, if I don't use like Dove, I feel like I didn't get clean. I just got scented. Do you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel super clean when I don't use like a, a, a just a designated regular old body wash that's not scented and stuff. Um, so those were fun. I did enjoy them. They worked well, I think. I don't know. Nobody tells me I smell or anything. So like normally I get complimented on smelling good actually, but my boyfriend smells like incredible. So like when we're out together, it is never me being complimented on smells because if you've ever just been with someone who overpowers your good thing, then you'll know what I'm talking about, okay? Like, you have really nice eyebrows, but does your friend have, like, the bomb eyebrows? Okay. That's what I'm living with here. Um, let's get, we're gonna get out of the bathroom in a second, but I keep my vitamins in the bathroom. So, I bought the Ollie, Oli? I don't know. <laughs> Undeniable Beauty for hair, skin, and nails. Um, I bought this one because it's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, that's why I bought it. And then I have the Smarty Pants as well. This one I feel like I got it at Sam's Club or Costco or something. Cause isn't it huge? Looks like the size of my head. So I do like these. Um, I think they taste good as far as vitamins go. So they don't look good. They just look like little poop nuggets. Yeah. And they're crusty now. I put these in here months ago, but um, I really like them as far as vitamins go. Do I notice a difference in my life and my skin and my hair? Absolutely not. Um, I to some to. To some extent, for me, vitamins are like placebos, or really, I just want some candy at the end of the night, and so I just chew my vitamins because it makes me feel better than chewing like a mini Snickers or something. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Some vitamins and stuff, I'm sure they do things, okay? But do I recognize that they do things? No, so all I can really comment on is the taste. They taste fine, and I don't wanna spit them out or anything. Same with these, these ones are nice and chewy though. Um, Chewy, not like, not like that kind of chewy, but just like a nice fruit snack. Oh, there it is. I was like, how, why did I leave one here? See, they look, well, it's not very like small. I mean, it's crusty now, but you get the point. All right, and then back to the battle of the deodorants while I'm over here sweating, girl. Sweating, this room is always hot. So you guys know, probably, if you've ever seen my videos, I use clinical strength stuff because your girl sweats. And I was, oh, I was this close to getting Botox in my freaking underarms. Um, maybe I'll put some in my face too, I mean, while we're at it. Uh, but I was gonna get Botox in my underarms because I just sweat so much. But like, if it's coming out of my arms, like that's probably where it's supposed to come out of and maybe I shouldn't be fussing with it, you know what I mean? So. I'm just gonna keep using clinical strength deodorant because it does help, but I have to switch it up. I can't just stick with one because then my body's like, ha, we figured this one out, stupid. Now what? And then I gotta switch to another one. So I like to keep my armpits guessing who are you gonna get today? So I use the Degree Clinical Strength, the Dove Clinical Strength, and the Secret Clinical Strength. Stranded on a desert island and I can only have one. I would probably go with the Secret Clinical Strength only because this one is a solid and these two are both like a cream or whatever, which is so gross to me. But I cannot deny that they work. Specifically this one, he reigns supreme. The Dove one, Above all else, like he is the he's the one, okay? He's gonna keep you dry. Like he goes out wet, which is so nasty, but he's going to keep you dry and smelling good, okay? Oh, I'll tell you guys how sad I am that my son's armpits start to smell now. Like my daughter's started a while back, but my son's finally he came downstairs one day and I was like, 
who is cutting onions when he's got an onion under your arm and I need to figure out who. I was so sad, but he's like, they're growing up. They're growing up. This is part of growing up. This is part of being a mom. They're growing up. Actually, I'm excited. It's been super fun actually hanging out with the kids like every single waking moment of my life. So I like will literally never have this ever again probably in my life. So it has been incredible and I'm pretty sure even if summer camp opens okay. up, I'm not sending them. We're hanging out all summer. Face wipes. These are by Up and Up, and they're Up and Up. I would keep buying them. In fact, I did buy more of them, and my daughter keeps putting friggin' makeup on. She calls her cousins, who are all the same age. Like, what's better than a best friend? <laughs> a cousin the same age as you. Um, so yeah, they put makeup on on FaceTime, and they look a hot mess, just street walkers, left and right. <laughs> but she loves the makeup wipes as well. Also, these flossers, this might not seem very important to some of you, but I don't know about you, I got a lot of teeth problems. But no, I don't have a lot of teeth problems. They just hurt sometimes, and my gums are like a little sensitive. So um, I do like these Oral-B Complete Flossers. They're the bomb. Also this, okay, this was random as hell, but I had to do a photo shoot and I couldn't get a pedicure. So I put on this heel to toe moisturizing foot mask and it's from Ulta, I'm pretty sure. And it was the bomb. It was like wearing a sock basically with stuff in it. And by the end of it, I just did my makeup and then I took it off and holy crap, my feet felt incredible, which is crazy to say because they normally, I mean, it, my feet get pretty crusty. Um, and then my favorite Sensodyne toothpaste, although I am about to try the Arm & Hammer one, I have heard too much about it. And then my best friend told me about it and I was like, well, if my real life people are telling me about it, now I have to buy it. So I do love Sensodyne though because I have very sensitive teeth and it blows. Okay, finally, let's move on to makeup. Macchiarse, girl. Um, oh, just kidding, my bad, one more thing. This is from Bath and Body Works, okay? When I originally bought it, it's a pillow spray. So um, you, you spray your essential oils or whatever on your pillow. I'm not an essential oil person. I've never cared about oils or essential things. Um, but I got this because it was so damn cute. And then I was like, you stupid idiot, now you have to use it. So in the beginning I was like, okay, spray, spray, spray. Good night, spray, 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 good night. And um, eventually it just, it became like a fun part of my little bedtime routine and I really enjoyed it. It smells nice, it's fun. I kind of wish I had another one at this point. So when I bought, you know, is it essential? No. And did it help me sleep? I don't think so. Oh, damn, I really thought I was gonna beat out all the lawn mowers this morning. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They know, it's okay, it's okay. You guys can be a part of this too. I'll probably buy another one, I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a really cute little, um, like if you were ever making like a care package or like a basket or a thank you or something maybe even for like a new mom or your own mom or your sister or just any gal, okay? I'm gonna assume men don't wanna do this, especially because my boyfriend laughed at me one night when I was putting it on. He was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, dog, leave me alone. Um, it's like a nice little thing to add in. It's something that maybe you wouldn't get for yourself normally, but I thought it was fun. It was a fun addition to my bedroom. Oh, and it was from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, I got two little mini Tatcha things. I already had the large size of the water cream, but I also got the deep cleanse. This was impossible to use, but the water cream, if you remember from before, I do not care for it. I think it is overpriced moisturizer that smells funky as I don't know what, and it's not for me. That, like, I feel like if YouTube and Instagram and influencers did not exist, I do not think that the water cream would have ever, like, seen as many people as it does, which you could pretty much say about anything. But that specifically felt like literally water cream. It felt like lotion with water in it that I spent $70 on. So I'm gonna just, I have a lot of feelings about that. A mini glam glow mask. I've been doing, I've been doing glam glow masks with my daughter. So fun. Finally, let's get into the makeup. I just finished this today. This is the MAC Preppin prep and prime, but this is in the cherry blossom. Um, not that it makes any difference whatsoever. I just bought it because it was gorgeous. Um, I will not buy it again. It's like 25 bucks. And the fact of the matter is that it just, you could get something. I, I, in fact, I have something in there by like Catrice or something. I don't know. It's like $3. I, there's no reason for me to buy this. Yes, it's fine. Yes, it's a lovely mist. No, I did not actually notice any difference in my makeup between that and a different one. So I also have this primer, which is by Smashbox Cosmetico. It doesn't focus, you get it. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. 
Um, I liked it. I can't say that there's anything notable about it. Would I buy it again? No, because I didn't buy it the first time they sent it to me. Um, but I do like that they have like these oil-free primers. I do like an oil-free primer. Um, but like I said, there's nothing notable enough about it that I would buy it again. I'd probably just get a drugstore primer to be honest because I don't know enough about makeup and the differences in it to really, really, really notice when something like that is making a difference versus something just like that that's like maybe a quarter of the price. Um, I'm not, I cannot discern between those little things. So um, I also got the Wet n Wild foundation stick because your girl's a fan of sticks. I am missing my freaking contour stick like you would not believe. I miss foundation sticks at this point. The only one I have left, ugh, the color is way off. So this was okay. I wasn't um, opposed to it. It was only like, four bucks because I think I got mine on clearance. Um, but it's the Photo Focus foundation. I got mine in ivory, I believe, soft ivory. And um, I didn't hate it. Look, there's still a little bit left in there. And it was only a few bucks. I think I just got the wrong color, but I just mixed this with a different whatever. It, it's solid, it's solid, okay? It's invisible solid. No, it's visible. Um, it's a solid foundation. I'm not gonna buy it again just because I got the wrong color. And so now I'm jaded. And I can recognize that. I also got this, is it Ciate? Girl, I don't know. Uh, Ciate Dewy Stick. Look at like this. And it's just like a white stick, basically. <laughs> Clear, I guess. You can kind of see. Can you see it in my hand? I just put it all over right here. So this was just like a highlighting stick, basically. I liked it a lot. I think they sent it to me, or I got it like as a sample I don't know what it was but it lasted me forever and I would actually buy this again unless it's like $20 then no I'll probably just buy one from Target or Walmart screw Target okay I'm just kidding I love you Target but um you know I just don't want to go anymore last time I went I had such a bad experience I haven't been back in like two months now um so I also got this sugar lip exfoliating thing which oh there's still some oh no that was definitely it so it's a sugar lip treatment perfecting wand. This has always been super hard to find anyway, but it's a lip exfoliator. I did already buy a different one to replace this, but I do exfoliate all the time. And I take care of my lips a lot because they are such a pain in the ass basically. And they get so dry and they get so crusty. And so if I'm not constantly exfoliating and moisturizing and just paying them all of the attention in my life, then they just go straight to hell. So um, I did like that and I would use it before I put on a liquid lipstick. But like I said, it, it's so hard to find. Don't even trip, don't even worry about it. I'm sure there are way better per, or, uh, lip like wands and exfoliating wands. And I just bought one from Buxom. It was Buxom, my camera cut off. Uh, anyway, last couple of things. The Kat Von D concealer. I bought this 17 years ago, I think and uh, it's the Locket Concealer. I'm just getting rid of it at this point. Um, it's basically empty though. Ooh, it was, it was crap. It was cakey and flaky and thick, and I didn't like that, but this, the Hourglass one, oh, you know what, before we move on. This is also the Kat Von D liner. Uh, it's fine, it's the Locket, the tattoo liner or whatever. I don't really like the applicator on it. I like the, uh, so that's all I have to say about that. But uh, this Hourglass Retouching Fluid, I think I'm gonna mention it every single time that I have an empties because I run out of them all the time. Um, this is the Veil Retouching Fluid. I got this one in the color Fair. I think I also have one in light. I'm obsessed with it, especially right now. I don't do a full face of makeup. I wake up, I take a shower brush my teeth, do all that, whatever. And then I come into this room and I put on a brow gel, I put on mascara, and I put on um, a lip balm and this. So I put this under my eyes, around my nose for the redness, and then usually on my chin for the scarring. And it is incredible, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I have loved this forever and ever and ever now. Like, as soon as I got it, I loved it. This is probably like my fifth one sitting over there, fifth or sixth, seventh one, I don't know. But um, it's really good concealer when you don't wanna have makeup on, basically. Because it it basically just seeps into your skin. It's like it disappears. It doesn't look like I put concealer on my regular skin and then try to get away with it. Um, this just kind of meshes and blends in. And for me, it really works. Uh, so I'm obsessed with it. It's like my favorite thing. If I had to repurchase one thing out of all of this, it'd be that, because I did repurchase it. And then I have my Grande Lash MD. 
um, Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. Originally when I got this, I was like, this is so stupid. Why did I buy this? Cause it's like $70 um, at Sephora. And then I was like, Sarah, you have to use it. You big dumb dodo, you spent the money on it. Use the damn thing. Okay. So then I finally started really, really just using it every single day. I would put it a line of it across each lash and I would put a little bit into my eyebrows too at the end of every single night or at the beginning of the day, usually at the end of the night though. And um, after like a few weeks, my lashes finally really grew, right? I know I've mentioned this to you guys before, um, but they did grow and they got like wispier. I was like, demi wispy? Is that what's on my face now? Like they just started to look so much better to the point where I stopped wearing like eyelashes as often as I did. I mean, I still need lashes. Like I don't have glam eyelids, you know what I'm saying? But I still need lashes sometimes, but like for my everyday, like right now, this is just what I've been using and I really, 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 really like it. So, um, Grande Lash MD, I just repurchased it. I never thought I would, but I did. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but I did repurchase it. And then this is my last thing. This is the Patrick Star, yes, Star. I'm sure the mass majority of you know who Patrick Star is, and the rest of you think that I'm accidentally saying Patrick Star, AKA SpongeBob's best friend. No, we love him here too, though. Um, so this is Patrick Star's powder, Patrick's powder, the setting powder by, uh, it was between like him and Mac. And I finally ran out of it. Well, I didn't run out of it, but I cannot open the damn thing. There's like a little bit in there. I really liked it, but I think I'll stick with the Laura Mercier stuff only because it's easier for me to buy. Well, no, Sephora and they sell Mac now too, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I would say that I could potentially buy this again. There was nothing wrong with it at all. I liked it, um, but I'm trying to stick to cheaper setting powders right now. So I just bought like some like $5 banana powder or something off of uh, Ulta the other day and it's it's working out fine, I guess. What the hell do I know? My makeup looks like half crusty all the time. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is all of my garbage. I love showing it to you. I will be back very soon. I have some more videos I'm working on. So I will be back, but I just thought I'd stop in and say, hey, how are you? I hope you're doing well. And if you want to see me significantly less animated, and like I said, little Groundhog's Day in ya, uh, then you can head over to my blog channel, which is where I post vlogs all the time. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.